Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm going to tell you about this absolutely beautiful 2020 BMW X5. This is the X Drive 40i with that butter smooth turbocharged inline six, uh, amazing engine. Um, and this thing's a one owner clean Carfax vehicle from uh, Washington. Recently traded in at a store we do business with. They don't usually do well with higher end, um, you know, vehicles like this. They do, you know, better with more like domestic cars and stuff like that. So when they have people trading in uh, fancier vehicles like this, they'll call me and ask me if I if they take it on trade, if I'd buy it, and I give them a number, and that's how I got this one. So it was a, a trade in at the Hazelwood Auto Group. I believe they traded in at their uh, Volkswagen uh, store. Um, I don't know why you'd want to trade in the X5 and a Volkswagen, but maybe they're downsizing or maybe they're trading in for like their ID4 EV, who knows. But this is a beautiful one owner clean Carfax uh, BMW X5, 30,160 miles. It's a mid-size uh, luxury crossover uh, vehicle, very spacious, very luxurious, wonderful to drive. Even though it's a crossover SUV, BMW likes to bake sporty DNA into all their cars. So you'll notice that the handling and acceleration is very sporty but it's also gonna pamper you and keep you very comfortable on your daily commute and on those road trips. Not all uh, X5s are created equal. This one has some uh, equipment on it. The base MSRP was $61,200, but this has about uh, eight, $9,000 worth of options on it. This lovely shade of black sapphire metallic was a $550 premium uh, color. The driving assistance professional package was $1,700, giving you a lot of uh, great features, um, making your life a little bit easier. Uh, driving the vehicle. Uh, parking assistance package was $700. Uh, premium package was $2,300. Again, a bunch of uh, nice features are uh, bundled into that premium package. Remote engine start $300. Trailer hitch that allows you uh, to tow up to 7,200 pounds when properly equi equipped. That's pretty good. That was $550. Aluminum running board $400. Heated front seats with armrest and steering wheel $250. Luggage compartment package $450. Front and rear heated seats $350. And of course, we can print you out a copy or email it if you want to prove it yourself. Also, for a vehicle, you know, that's a mid sized crossover, uh, I think the engine, I'll pop up the exact output on the screen, but I think it's a 380 horsepower, if I remember correctly. A lot of power for a vehicle this size. And it's also pretty fuel efficient with a vehicle of that much power also getting 20 miles per gallon in the city, 26 in the highway. That's pretty awesome. And you have an eight speed automatic transmission to help maximize efficiency. A uh, nice supportive seats, adjustable bolstering, beautiful wood trim. You have a drive mode selector, so you have Sport, Eco, and Eco Pro. Um, adaptive, predictive adjustment of vehicle settings for driving situation, that's pretty cool. Um, pretty straightforward, uh, you have your map button, you kind of have this controller to navigate through the infotainment system. You have this nice big screen, very crisp, high resolution display, very detailed maps. Then you have uh, these great parking cameras. You have a big uh, backup camera. Then you have an overhead camera. Uh, looks like we also have backup assistance, um, uh, parking assistance as well. And uh, these crossover SUVs, you do have the blind spots and the headrests and stuff. So these cameras are really a big help in maneuvering in tight parking situations. Obviously, you don't want to scuff up those beautiful bumpers or anyone else's. Nice leather up steering wheel. We have a heads up display. Looks like we have a steering assist, a heated steering wheel. Um, I believe we also have adaptive cruise control, blind spot warning, lots of great safety features. You have steering wheel paddle shifters. You want to take control of those eight forward gears. Big panoramic roof. You have a power sunshade to dim things down if it gets too bright, uh, which we're not really worrying about now. And the uh, roof also opens as well for lots of nice fresh air. I love the uh, digital gauge cluster they have. Uh, it kind of has analog gauges to the left and right. And it's really cool because it also projects the map right under the gauge cluster so it leaves uh, less distraction. You know, you're taking a quick glance here versus having to look over on this screen. And on top of that, you have a heads up display further, uh, you know, preventing you from being distracted because you don't have to look down off the road to see how fast you're going. It also gives you, uh, you know, traffic sign recognition, giving you the current speed limit. Really helpful. Beautiful color combination and black on black. Nice, highly adjustable seats. I think any person will be able to find a comfortable uh, position in those seats. And this is kind of like the perfect size, uh, being a midsize, it's not too small. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, got space for a growing family. Uh, someone who's six foot two like me is still pretty comfortable in the rear seats, obviously in the smaller compact and subcompact crossovers, you're gonna make sacrifices for rear interior space. 
So we have the rear climate control, four zones of climate control, two zones on the front, two zones in the back, heated outbound rear seats, USB-C connectivity. I think you could also, I don't know if these are for like, um, like trays, coat hangers. It might even be able to work with like a DVD entertainment system. I'm not sure about that. I think it's mainly just like a, a coat hook. I'll see if I can find a picture to uh, post up on the screen what, uh, of the different accessories that go in there. Can't figure out right at this moment, but by the time I edit this video, I'll make sure we'll figure it out for you. Power rear lift gate. All right, comes uh, up and down in two pieces, making it a little bit more manageable. That's also nice, you have something to slide stuff in and out of. You can also sit here if you want to. <laughs> Maybe for a place to sit during one of those soccer games. A little extra storage here. We have some great promotions going on right now. Complimentary delivery to Washington, Oregon, Idaho. We can put this in our car hauler. We can tow it to you. So over our mobile delivery service, this beautiful X5 can be all yours, potentially without leaving your neighborhood or even your driveway. And there's a butter smooth uh, turbocharged inline six. BMW, they are the masters at making inline six engines. They've been making inline six engines, I don't know, 70, 80 years, a long time. They've perfected them. Uh, and there's a unique power, uh, uh, there's unique characteristics to inline uh, engines versus V configurations, which are a little bit more popular for six cylinders. Uh, but inline sixes, they're very, very smooth, uh, and they have lots of low end torque. And torque is important, even though horsepower gets a lot of the press, torque is what gives you that neck snapping acceleration. And uh, that engine is, like I said, very smooth and very torquey. Uh, one of my favorite six cylinder engines on the planet Earth. Thanks so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Hopefully, see you soon, and have a wonderful day.